Welcome back to Fixing with Friends. I'm your host, that guy you know. And today we're just going to finish up part two of Still Working on the 280Z. So let's get to it. So we're going to do the other stuff and then torque everything at the end. Hydration is very important. Back to work. Hmm. So we're just going to use the malfunctioning jack for extra safety. Having a car fall on you is fun, but uh, I'd rather not. Alright, so I'm going to pull this pan off. Uh, this looked like 10 millimeter. Yep, and I stole some safety glasses and found a mat for you guys. Oop, shouldn't have pulled on that just yet. I need to scrape that off. Okay, we've got one bushing here, it's these two bolts, and one here, it's these two bolts here, and there, and one you can't see. AC compressor. Probably doesn't work. But who wants power sapping just for comfort? Me. This might pop something. Perfect. You know, maybe I should have read the instructions before doing this. You know, this also looks fairly new. It's not torn. Maybe it's the rack itself that needs replacing. Which would just be the greatest, greatest thing of all. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm just going to fondle this rack for a bit. So here's the new one. Here's the, oh. And there's the old one. Like I said, it looks pretty good. It's a little worn. I'm going to coat this one 
with some silicone lubricant just so it lasts a little bit longer. So here we are, all shiny. Well, in just a couple seconds, most of the silicone lubes already evaporated. Again, looks pretty good. This costed, I don't know, five bucks? But now, I was told by the mechanic they needed to be replaced. However, does not seem to be the case. Let's throw this back on. Oh, so these are actually threaded as well an extra nut to lock it on top. Note to self, do not stick your arm there again. So do you see these bellows here? This is another one of the things I want to replace, but I don't think I'll have time today. Okay, so this bushing, our stabilizer bar is a little worn out. But these ones over here, these bushings definitely need to be replaced before they fall out and disappear. Boot looks okay there, but uh, more or less turned to marshmallow. And these definitely need replacing. So I'll do that now. That's unfortunate. Yeah, right there. So yeah, this bushing, it's definitely good that I'm replacing it. So I'm not positive this is the right diameter. There were a couple listed. This one was the only one listed as OEM. So I assume it is. The others were given in specific sizes. What am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah. Seems like this one is a bit too small. Could be these are just worn, but... Let's see what we can do with it. I don't know if that's gonna come off. That one is definitely bent. That's why rusted things are annoying. They freeze.
<laughs> Oops, you didn't even see that. That's cancer. Alright, so here are the old ones. Here are the new ones. New ones are supposed to be heavy duty design. Uh, it depends on what steel they've used. As you can see, it is quite a bit thicker than the old ones. And the old ones definitely needed some changing. Particularly this one. You know this camera says Full HD, but I'm pretty sure it can only do I and not P, which is not Full HD. Twerking time. Not, not twerking time. Twerking time. Since I forgot the factory service manual, we're going to have to ask what the road emperor has to say. That's it for today. Wait. That's it for today. If you enjoyed all of this, click the like button and subscribe for more if you want to see the outtakes. Leave a comment. See you later.